Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about the constant of proportionality of tables. So for the first page, we're gonna do some problems together, so take notes with me. And then you have a chance to try some problems on your own. And at the end, you can see how you did, all right? So just a reminder, just anytime you hear the term constant of proportionality, we're talking about unit rate. So please write that inside this little box. We're talking about unit rate. So anytime you hear me say the term constant of proportionality, we're talking about unit rate. All right, so we're gonna figure out how to figure out the unit rate, okay, of tables. So notice we have uh, two different columns here. The first column is time and hours, and the second column is distance and miles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus just on one set of data, all right? So in this set of data, we're gonna pretend that this column here are the X values, and the distance is the Y values. And remember, the way you get the unit rate or the constant proportionality is it's always the Y value divided by the X value, all right? So in this uh, case, we're gonna divide 90 by two, and that reduces down to 45. So the unit rate of this data is 45. And to give it more meaning, it's 45 miles for every hour, all right? Let's do one more. Here we have uh, talked about food, people and burgers. So again, the people, that's, that value is gonna be the X value and burgers is gonna be the Y. And I'm gonna go with uh, this column right here, the 10 and the 20. And again, you're gonna hear a common theme here. To get the unit rate, you do the Y value divided by the X value, all right? So it's gonna be the Y value is 20, the X value is 10, and when I reduce 20 tenths, we get two. And that right there is what we're looking for. That's the unit rate. All right, so the constant of proportionality is two. All right, so now you, now that you understand how to get the constant of proportionality of tables, when you pause the video and try the your turn now problem. And then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you do with these practice problems. So here we're talking about uh, passenger jet travel. And we have hours, that's one row, and miles, I'm some traveled, that's another row. So we're gonna have hours be the X values and miles be the, the Y values, all right? And just a reminder, to get the unit rate, it's the Y value divided by the X value, all right? And again, you can use any one of these uh, number pairs. So I'm gonna go with just the first one. So the Y value is 840, so it's gonna be 840. Now I'm gonna divide that by two. And when I do 840 uh, divided by two, that's gonna be 420. So the constant of proportionality of this uh, table is 420. And really it's 420 miles for every one hour. Because remember, unit rate has to have a one um, in the denominator. All right, let's do one more. This time we're talking about cost of bananas. And we have uh, pounds of bananas and then the cost. So again, I'm gonna have pounds be the X and the Y is gonna be the cost. And I'm gonna pick, um, again, I'll use the first set of values here, all right? So the Y value is, is $2.50. And the X value is two. And when I do $2.50 and divide it by two, that's $1.25. So our constant of proportionality is $1.25 over one, okay? Which means for every one pound of bananas, it costs you $1.25. All right, how'd you do?